ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combos. Well, let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. <laughs> In my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. Haters, we're playing Emery and we're playing Paradox Engine. Hello! And welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and you know them! They're in the comments. God knows why. They could just watch something else. But no, every time I have to exploit Paradox Engine to the misery and dissatisfaction of absolutely everybody who plays Historic Brawl, they have to get in the comments and express their hate for the one in best of one. Well, you know what I say to that? Your go. Emery Lurker of the Lock. Actually, I was supposed to say no questions there. I'm not restarting. Emery Lurker of the Lock is one of my all-time favorite commanders. If you haven't played Brawl, if you haven't played Emery, I will explain it simply. Artifacts reduce the commander tax, which makes Emery consistently cheap, which is very awesome when you're playing this format where people love to kill your commander. And on top of that, it digs you deeper and deeper into the deck. And what happens as you get deeper into the deck? You find your Paradox Engine, you cast your Paradox Engine, you untap all of your mana rocks again and again and again Again, and eventually you find a way to win. See, Paradox Engine is just a foundational piece of Commander, except until it was banned, as far as like absolutely nonsense, endless combos go. And many people will say, it's banned in Commander, it should be banned in Brawl. Brawl's not Commander, they have different names. That makes them different formats. That's how formats work. Boom, smack down. Uh, and honestly, look, if we take out the part where you're a little tilted baby about it, Paradox Engine is perfect for Arena because instead of manually having to untap any, everything with your hands, it's a trigger. And it's like, boom, 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 boom. Yes, it still takes a while to win, but it's an exciting combo deck that gets the dopamine running in the person who's playing it and trying to find those weird and interesting ways to win. You'll notice this deck has a lot of self-mill. It is a self-mill deck because the sooner we get the Paradox Engine in the graveyard, the sooner the Emery can bring it back and we can combo off and win. So effects that we wouldn't normally run because they don't impact the board, like Wand of the Vertebrae and Waterlogged Hulk. Look, if there's a card somewhere here that you don't know what it does, it's either one of two things. It either mills you or it taps for mana, right? Uh, so those effects get you closer and closer to the Paradox engine so that you can do your combo thingy and it's since we don't have enough tutors well that's the other way to do it just dig through the deck speaking of tutors they printed a new one in the secret cards you know the ones that are hard to find fabricate look for this one check not collected and you can get this sweet full art fabricate to search up any artifact <laughs> paradox engine that you want to and put it into your hand emery is sweet it's one of my absolute favorites i come back to this girl again and again and again and i hope the games will show you why if you are a combo player if you are a blue player if you are looking to get into brawl have I got a deck for you? It's not control. We don't even run counterspell. It's combo. It's Emery. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Tear grid, God of Fright. I'm not afraid. What are you going to do? Kill my commander? I'll cast it again. Is this hand good? This hand is good. Gotta sacrifice the candy trail before Tear grid arrives, though, or else they'll get control of it. To the trail. Whir. We want to draw whir. How about the bird? Do we want the bird? I don't need the bird. You don't want to spend mana on the bird when you have whir, because every artifact gets you closer to engine. Let's go ahead and drop the reality chip. This will go very well with replicating ring into emery next turn. And the opponent might kill it. And we can just try to get it back. Informant. Make me discard. Sure. Monitor out. Drop this. Drop that. Drop you. We're doing it. We're cooking. We got a bobble in the graveyard. Oh, yeah. 
If only I could see what's happening behind this damn sand. Horn Power Stone, good card. The well. Currently we get a three. We could use Emery, get a four. Not quite good enough, but really close. Let's go like this. Land off the top. Oh my God, land drop. Let's play this for zero just to get it into the graveyard. Because having zeros in the graveyard is super useful. Play the Witching Well. We don't need the Inventor's Fair. Prototype is a rock. I guess I'd take a rock. And cast Bobble. Drop Bobble. Pass turn. We're set up, baby. We are set up. The problem is Terror Grid. Terror Grid is really good against cards like the Bobble that we sacrifice for an effect. And the opponent's going to go for it, so we have to do this now. There's a Swamp on top. Ew. Well, they don't actually get this though, right? I just move it to the command zone. Perfect. Perfect. Draw. Draw. I mean, we're close to just engining, right? If we can get the chip equipped to the Emery, we might just be able to pop off. One, two, three, four. I mean, yeah. We've got to have a blue mana open. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Got to do it like this. And then we can auto pay. Into the engine. Now, how far can we go? I want to play you. Mill. One, two, three. All right. Add blue. Add blue. We got to get a little lucky. Just a little. Because we have to do this. There is a one ring on top, which we can't cast, right? So we could sack this and draw it, and then it depends what's on top. If it's a zero, we win. I think that's worth the shot. I know they get the trail and that's sad, but let's see what happens. If they make me discard the one ring, that's gonna be really sad. Ugh! Yeah, not a zero, not a zero. The ring was too expensive and the land is useless. Yep, they got tiny bones. They do have to deal with the board though. Reality chip can still just win. So maybe they don't get rid of the one ring. If they don't get rid of the one ring, Ring pl plus Paradox can also just win. So do they make me discard? Do they kill the Emery? Do they do all of the above? No! No! Not like this! Oh no! My ring! But they left up Power Stone. Power Stone's not good enough. Emery wins here. Right? I think Emery wins here. The the Terror Grid is a problem. It is definitely a problem. They give me back the trail. Are you crazy? They're crazy. I've decided they're crazy. Fabricate. Hold priority just in case there's an instant on top we want to cast. Nope. Okay. Fabricate. I mean, what we need is mana. Oh, wait a minute. Who was the starting player? I was. Okay. Hi. How are you? Play this land. QQ.
How about you? And you? Give me that ring. <laughs> Turn off your artifacts. <laughs> Let's get to work, bird. I'm not even using the Emery. We're just partying. Everything according to my design. Classic QQ moments. Scoop them up. I'll kill you when I get around to it, but there's an Aetherflux Reservoir in my graveyard. On the draw against Eowyn, Fearless Knight, we have turn one Spellbomb, turn two Commander, turn three Ramp. But it's not a path to Paradox, so I think we can mulligan this as a first hand. I guess we'll keep this one. It also doesn't have a clear path, but it does have Signet. Turn one, Stone Coil. Turn two, Signet, Emery. Turn three, Rock. Eowyn, Fearless Knight, enters a battlefield, exiles something with greater power. We won't have much of that. Hope Agiripper is annoying, but we have Reach. Right, Pact of Negation. I think it's the first time I've seen this card. Enters tapped because they went first. No, not the portable hole. Wow. No mercy out here. Just the way we like it. I guess we ramp. Thalia, okay. Our opponent's commitment to being obnoxious is admirable. But with the amount of mana we can generate, I'm not super worried. I don't love it. But we have a good hand for making mana. Graveyard now includes Lantern and Prototype. Opponent missing a land drop. I hope they miss all of them, to be honest. You're the one who played the Thalia. Shove aside. Free damage to target creature. Sure. We'll replay the Emery. It's fine. Karn. Doesn't really do much here. Let's play the Terminal. Next turn, we can play the Emery after the Relic. Just keep moving the mana up. Their clock isn't very fast. We can get our Stone Coil. How exciting. The Geode? Sure. I need a Scry. Do not need more mana rocks, though. We have to try to do better than that. There's a spider down there. Yep, opponent quite nosy. Sure. Don't defend it with Pact. It costs you less mana to replay the Emery than it costs you to pay for the Pact. Pact is to defend the win. I mean, what are they? Like, bad Boros control? You know what's funny? If no mana was spent to cast it, you have to spend mana to cast it because of the Thalia. I think we can let this resolve. <laughs> I'm, I'm tickled. Let's kick it.
Drop this. Mill some more. There's a Lotus, in case we don't have enough mana. And now the Thought Monitor can get between the Hope of Gearper and our face. Just gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Uh-huh. Pay extra for that. Oh no, what will I do? I'll have to pay one mana to cast my Emery. They want to keep the attacks going? That's fine. We're down to nine. The clock is scarier than it has been. We're still doing good. Emery. Emery first. A little Raven to see our top card. The orb? I mean, it is a path to paradox engine. We will keep. If I cast you, then we have enough, I think, to also cast the Karn. Just unload on them mana wise. I, have worse than the likes of you. I will take the serpent, please. Let's play it for one. And then we still have Pact of Negation open. And I got blockers. What you gonna do about it? None of them can be victimized by Eowyn. That is a 2-1. That is a 3-2 haste. Attacks, you may discard your hand. Let's see. How do we like our attacks? We block here, kill that. Block here, kill that. Chump. Maybe? You know, it's not getting any better, is it? And look, it's not countered by Boromir because I had to pay the one. No attacks. Love that. Lotus? Big mana? I think we get the spider, actually. I'm feeling the spider. Not taxed by Thalia. Gives us an outlet for all this mana. Does have reach. Can't be hit by the Eowyn. And kill your power stone. And the orb. Let's just chill. Now we're on Paradox Watch. I'm pretty sure we can Paradox combo through both of these. We don't need zero mana cards necessarily. We don't... We can pay the extra mana. Like, we have so much mana. Four, three. Coming down. My turn. All right. Let's activate the terminal. This is another way to dig deeper in the deck. And then, do we have any other mana? Yeah, just add the blue. Can't tap these, nothing to crew, okay. Dig. Go orb. Reality chip, pretty good. War of Invention, unfortunate. Fabricate, unfortunate. All right, hard mode. Let's get the chip. Patch to you. Seems good. Protection from multicolor might protect it. Hope! Off the top. Letta. 
Ring. Cool. Now what? How much mana do I still have untapped? A little. Who wants to fight? I think the letter of acceptance wants to fight. I can always sack it to draw a card. I guess I can't because of summoning sick. Not this turn. It's fine. Just waiting on the engine. Keep gumming up the board with dorks. Try not to make any of them power four or greater. Okay. Rem. Pass. Just a way of getting more triggers. No, I am not afraid of being milled. This is advanced strategy, milling yourself for success. I'm sure it won't be the bottom card. <laughs> no, that'll never happen. Couldn't be me. There we go. Engine located. There's a... Yep. Perfect. Reservoir. Why not? Seems as good a time as any to bounce Thalia. It doesn't even matter if we empty the library. Emery gives us all the spells we could want to cast from the graveyard. And we get back whatever we need. Let's just speed up the Aether Flux. Mill, mill, mill. It's fine. We're going to win with an empty library. Don't panic. Whatever you guys do, do not panic. Although the opponent, they're not panicking. They're holding something. They're holding something to the last moment. It might be a shock for our face. Let's get the one ring and get protection from everything. Like, they, maybe they're hoping that we're at 52 and we activate a Reservoir. Come on, protection! There we go. All right. Uh, let's also show them the pleasure of being milled with the Altar of the Brood as our alternate win con for when the opponent has protection from everything in this one ring meta. Fifty-four life. Let's be absolutely sure. Let's grab the metamorph. Cast the metamorph. Making another aether flux, of course. Library empty. Do not panic. I mill the opponent for one. Trigger. Take fifty game. See? We don't need a library. And Neem Pakal will not give us much time. Fortunately, we're on the play, but we don't have a turn two commander. We mulligan. We also don't have a path to Paradox Engine. We have one ring and Paradox Engine. We have witness protection. We don't have an early commander. This hand does nothing on turn one and two. We have to draw like a one mana artifact. I'm going to keep it though. We also have to draw mana rocks. This is going to be challenging. There's no question. But we've got a combo in hand and we've got witness protection to slow down the Anim Pakal player. It's got to be a keep. Just please draw a mana rock. I, I'll take an arcane signet. Okay. But opponent's going to be scared I have a counter spell, so we'll bluff. Are you afraid? 
cavern, they're not afraid. <laughs> not the ass pirate, no. Anything but the ass pirate. Flux, okay. All right, we got a rock down there. It's the only rock we need if we can get it, but this is all really expensive. We have to cr find creative ways to be alive. I can't believe they bust out the rope on whether or not play commander, put a counter on commander is what they're going to do with their deck that's clearly designed to do that. But here we are. We have to really hope they can't remove witness protection. All right, we draw another land. We can get to five lands. When we get to five lands, we can play one ring. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's get the spell bomb. Let's play the spell bomb. Let's put you in witness protection. And let's chill with Essence Flux. We might get to ambush something. We're taking a lot of damage. The one ring will have to get us through. And then we still need to get down a rock, live a turn, and get down an engine. It might be absolute best if we can somehow play the Gilded Lotus and the one ring on the same turn and then go straight to the engine next turn. That uh, is Fable. Fable is a magic card. Ragavan. Yep, they got a counter. They got attacks. Let's just flicker. I'm not actually going to block, though. I just want the mill. Okay, we got a rock. But what are we going to do? I think we get back Lotus, play Lotus, use Spell Bomb. Go to 15. Are we going to take 15 next turn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ugh. Were. Were. Were, were, were. Were is, can be a Mox Amber. We also need something to start the train once the Paradox Engine is online. So tempting to cast the one ring here. I'm trying to figure out, can I win? It would be from such a low base. I would have to, so I play the one ring, I draw. Next turn, untap, say we hit our land, say we're that lucky. Uh, play the engine. How do we get the mana? I can fetch an ornithopter with whir. I'll have Spellbomb. I can fetch a one mana artifact. And there's an artifact creature or two that can block. God, this is hard. All right. I think we've got to get the Lotus. I think we've got to cast the Lotus. And then it's whether or not to use the Spellbomb to bounce something or to chump block. This gets us another card. But it does tap us out. I'm so scared. Another expensive card. Ooh, <laughs> just get me through this turn. I must get through this turn. I must get through this turn. Ow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus five, 13, 14. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, good for you. <laughs> Balls! Uh, this deck is on the play, it's against niv -Mizzet. It has a path to Paradox, but we can't keep it. It's too slow. The early turns against niv -Mizzet are huge before they start countering everything. This is better. In fact, it has a very easy path to Paradox. Here's the jewel. 
springleaf drum, huh? That works. Get him going. We got a lotus in the graveyard. We just need some other creatures. Other creatures both to work with the drum and the soul cauldron. We can turn our other creatures into emeries. Fabricate. Let's go for fabricate. See if they counter it. This is honestly getting a bobble. Spell pierce. Unfortunate that we can't pay for that with the jewel. Combat. Show them who's the boss. What do you guys think? Do we slam engine? We can't win with it, but if they blow it up, we just get it back. Ta-da! Gotta get the counter spells. Gotta get them. If we make them counter something every turn, eventually they blink. Also, they have to find ways to, like, kill Emery and counter stuff. Okay, Captain. Sus. And then the Niv-Mizzet deck wasn't the Niv-Mizzet deck we expected the Niv-Mizzet deck to be. That's a bad draw. Can't counter the Niv-Mizzet. But, what the heck. Let's see if we can Paradox here. Hmm. Resolves? Hold on to your butts. I mean, they haven't killed the Emery. They didn't counter the engine. They cast the Niv. Do they have Curiosity? If they have Curiosity, they just win. They also play combos. Okay. Now, what has to happen? Something has to happen. They have to put a spell, like a spell has to go on the stack? Whenever you draw a card, whenever an instant or sorcery, can we combo win here without an instant or a sorcery? I don't really have an outlet, right? I can untap things, but I can't really keep going. I don't have any way to mill myself. I have nothing that goes to the graveyard. If I even had a chromatic sphere, it would be good. Wash away can't do anything. Yeah, we're just dead, right? Crafting this into something doesn't do anything. The stone cold dead. All we had to do was mill an artifact that did something here. And we don't have it. Oh my god. Things go so wrong today. What is going on? Niv Mizzet. Rune. Who goes first? Huh? They do. They always do. All right. This hand is sick. We're going to fill our graveyard and find what we need. I can feel it. Well, we also have the Inventor's Fair, which is its own path to Paradox Engine. We've got two paths the orb and the fair. Ta-da! I have milled a card. Young Pyromancer. Okay. Here is my Emery. There's a terminal down there, but I doubt I'll actually get to use it. Pyromancer is a clock. That's scary. Let's see if they're ready to kill Emery. Ta-da! Complete with Wizard's Lightning. It's an expensive way to do it, though.
All right, maybe draw another cheap artifact or land. That's also something. Warbum. Test of talents. Always cracks me up when people run that. We will fall to 20. Can't wait to get counterspelled. Okay, end step. Let's get our mill on. Resources. Star, beautiful. I Emery. Yep, the counters will be here. They always are. We just have to keep making artifacts. Praying sanity. Wow. <laughs> okay. You get your negate or what? You get your disallow. You wanna you wanna counter another spell, my friend? They can't cast Niv anytime soon if they don't make more red mana, so that's fine. I think I actually lay off the mill, which is weird, but we have Inventor's Fair. We don't want to mill the engine if we can fare for it. <laughs> Memory Deluge? I mean, are you going to get it or are you going to get it milled? You have to not tap anything or else it's getting milled. Burnished heart. Okay. You did it. What else are you gonna do? Attack me. Yeah. Shuffle up to five cards from your graveyard into your library. Okay. Fading hope. It's pretty good on the burnished heart. But I don't have the mana. I guess if they spend their turn on the Burnish Heart, we're okay with that. Ooh, easy resolve. So we have an important choice. Is it Thought Monitor or is it Fading Hope? No, not Fading Hope. Uh, Emery. Emery. Yeah, we play Emery. Keep taxing their removal, their counter spells, whatever they have for this. No, keep it up. What is that? Three removals thrown at it? They're low on cards, but they are high on pyro. This little pyromancer might try to run the game over. We're going to take a lot of damage here. But on the bright side, Lotus is down. We have a ton of mana. I mean, I guess you can run strategic planning in this deck. Nothing saying you can't. Weird one. We are at the point where we can Inventor's Fair for one ring and cast it if we want protection for a turn. It would be a lot better if we could get the Emery down at the same time. Down to 10. They have one card. Is it any good? Get it? Is it? Spell Pierce. Well, that will probably resolve whatever we need to resolve. I think we can survive another turn. I don't think they're going to kill me here. But 
Thought Monitor. Draw two. I think what they're going to do is sack the heart and cast Niv. I think they're running low on gas. There's a Metamorph. Goes well with a One Ring. Relic. Emery. We can also just fetch engine and do the thing if we untap in this position. Assuming the engine isn't milled, but then if it is, Emery just gets it. I don't think they're going to kill me. And we're also set up if they go for curiosity on Niv. Hold on to your butts. Triggers. A lot of land. Can copy Niv. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! Okay, well, they're not casting Niv. And we can't counter that. It's okay, we can go get the ring. The question is do we want a fading hope the Emery so that they don't get the exile effect and we can cast it for one mana next turn? I think the answer is yes. Flux. I mean, it's a draw two for one if we keep our monitor. On a bailing on attacking with the pyro. Do we want this? I think we do. And just do it now. Value. Ha ha! I don't think they got anything, and we've got a spell pierce if they do. They might be able to pay if it's a cheap enough effect. The big question is without the Emery. Can we win? I think we can. How do we get more cards? We can sack the fair for the one ring. We might mill out. We have 48 cards. We need to play the engine. We need to play the emery. We need to not tap the fair. No ring. Okay. No ring. Come on. I guess we can shuffle it back in. All right. There's the ring. Don't want to tap out just in case. All right. Got to be careful. the jewel we're definitely going to unload on the library so we got to use the ring to get cards while we can Just got to have enough spells. And we do have the wand to shuffle back in. Okay, that's a cheap one. That's good. That means we're not going to mill too many cards. 
29. There's a few risks. Risks that we draw out without enough cards to play is a pretty big risk. We need to get ourselves up to that 50 life and still have access to enough cards to win. So getting to cast things that don't require many items to tap keeps our mill down from the orb. So like playing this for zero is a big deal. Oh no, those are all lands. Uh, this can get something. We're definitely gonna be able to get there. We're at 44, we have 16 cards. We just have to be careful and we definitely aren't overdrawing here. There we go, play this. We have protection from everything so our opponent can't kill us. So we fire away and the Death Star takes another one. No Emery needed. Today's random cool kid shout out goes to Steve Lawford. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed watching this video 24 hours early with the rest of the cool kids. Hit the join button below if you want to support the channel. Emery is amazing. Maybe you don't want to support the channel anymore because you think I'm toxic because I enjoy degenerate combo shenanigans with Paradox Engine and I don't care who knows. Maybe you hate me for putting this on the internet, but for all of the haters, there are those who are like, yes, yes, I understand. I too feel the power. I love a combo deck like this. It's It used to be like one of the best decks in the format. The honest review is that it's not anymore. It's a bit fragile. You can try to build it controlling with a lot of counter spells and rivers rebukes and cyclonic rift and whelming wave and all these other things. You can also try to, try to build it with like big artifacts with Phyrexian portal, God Pharaoh statue. But I like the straight up combo element. I like the challenge of assembling a combo out of a hundred card deck using mill shenanigans. I like the challenge of Emery. And I don't think that there is a build that's like top tier competitive anymore in a world full of ragavans and the likes of that. But it's my pet deck. I will always go back to her. She will always be a favorite of mine. So you guys want me to play for fun. You want me to have a good time sometimes. Careful what you wish for. This is the kind of stuff I do. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for staying and watching me play Emery. Thank you to the sponsors of this video. Where are they at? Boom! CoolStuffInc.com and Ultimate Guard for sponsoring this video. Also, another uh, sponsor I have this week is Giannis Voss and his Kickstarter. Make sure you check him out. I did the shout out in the last video, but if you look for Giannis Voss on Kickstarter, the, you know, drew the prismatic bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we must forgive, but uh, made some sweet tokens. I'm going to give another, like, this is an unpaid, unsponsored shout out, but we're, we're going to give a, a shout out nonetheless for these sweet tokens because he's a cool guy and I appreciate the hustle. Coolstuffinc.com, use promo code CGB5. You could get this deck and play it in Commander, except there's a notable ban, the Paradox Engine. <laughs> Uh, there's also this Surgical Metamorph, which is like a uh, an alchemy card, but you could just substitute any clone. But uh, just take out the Paradox Engine and put in a Thassa's Oracle and see if you can completely mill yourself out. Let me say that would be way less effective. <laughs> way less effective. Uh, and your playgroup might look at you a little funny. But you know what? It's good time. It's a good time. Guys, Paradox Engine doesn't need to be banned in Brawl. It's not even in the best decks right now. It's just making salty players salty a little more. And you know what? You're on Arena. You signed up for it. This is the saltiest place on Earth. Welcome. And now we have Fabricate. So we can search up Paradox Engine in all kinds of decks, which I'm going to do. And uh, for those of you who made it this far in the video, you're probably not being like when standard coming back, but just to give you a programming update, little brawl here and there. We're not going to be all standard. We're not going to be all brawl. We're not going to be all anything. In case you didn't notice, we've tried some new things on the channel and we shall continue to. I am going to make it as a freaking content creator. And sometimes that means I can't play another game of standard today. <laughs> Ah! But I've always got time for Emery. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool.
Covert Goat Blue has mastered the skies, so now he's ready to become the true apex predator by taming a T-Rex. Check out the Covert Goat Blue Dinosaur Rider playmat, featuring CGB astride the king of the dinosaurs. Each playmat comes with a free Dinosaur Rider token, so get your hands on this prehistoric prize and pick up Covert Goat Blue's Dinosaur Rider playmat today at coolstuffinc.com/cgb. Coolstuffinc.com, cool stuff in stock.